hello students uh, in last video that is the part 1 we studied we started the second chapter lasers and laser applications in first lecture that is in part 1 we studied the basic things that is the brief history of lasers we know that laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation in part 1 we studied the basic principles of lasers we know that there are uh, these principles uh, based on the three separate futures and these three separate futures that is absorption of radiation or is also known as the stimulated absorption spontaneous emission of radiation and stimulated emission of a radiation in part 1 we studied this first basic principle that is absorption of radiation or stimulated absorption we know that this absorption of radiation or stimulated absorption the raising of or pumping of atoms from lower to higher energy level through the process of absorption of light known as optical pumping and this transition is known as induced absorption or stimulation absorption or simply absorption means this induced absorption in the first part we studied in this today in this video lecture we discuss the second process that is the separate future second one spontaneous emission of a radiation spontaneous emission of radiation from this figure we to understand what is mean by the spontaneous emission so in this spontaneous emission uh, from this figure in this figure let we see these two energy levels are uh, respectively e1 that is lower energy state and e2 be the higher energy state that is called the excited state and basically in the spontaneous emission in higher energy state the electrons excite from this level e2 is this one and this will be transition to the energy level lower energy level uh, state e1 the process in which an excited atom emits a photon by itself and without any external triggering is known as spontaneous means in this case it is not necessary uh, required for this external uh, triggering means that is the photon Uh, is present on the lower energy state, but its electrons is always available in this excited state. Is this one means this spontaneous emission? But the process is represented by the spontaneous emission is nothing but the atom in lower energy state that is A in E one. and a star is nothing but atom in higher energy state e2 so in this case a star implies to a plus h nu is this one means in this case the photon is emitted from the energy a state is this one the photon energy that is h2 e2 minus e1 so this process represented that is the spontaneous emission means this excited atom emits a photon excited atom emits what the photon by itself and without any external triggering that is known as what spontaneous emission then this uh, process represents respectively uh, suppose the atom is initially in the upper energy state e2 see this is atom in the upper energy state e2 the atom is now 
in excited state such an atom spontaneously emits a photon of frequency mu that is e2 minus e1 upon h mu that is the photon energy h nu is equal to e2 minus e1 after returns to the ground state means it comes to this a ground state is this one that is the lower energy state e1 spontaneous emission is a random process that is when a number of excited atom emits spontaneously that the photons are emitted in all possible direction and random phases this one so then this spontaneous radiation is non directional and incoherent an atom is an excited state properly uh, returns to the lower level by spontaneous emission the average time spent by an atom in excited state is of the order of 10 raised to minus 8 second and the rate of spontaneous emission is given by that is rsp is equal to minus dn2 upon dt that is equal to what n2 upon t of means the lifetime of the spontaneous transition that is rsp equal to minus dn2 by dt and the number of photons in this generated during the spontaneous emission will be proportional to the population of excited level only therefore the rate of spontaneous emission can be expressed as rsp equal to a21 n2 is this one a21 is the dim dot the proportional constant this a21 and this n2 is nothing but the and this proportional constant is known as the einstein coefficient of spontaneous emission so this is the process photon emission during the transition means the photon energy is emits emits from the lower energy state is this one that is the photon is this one so the, in spontaneous emission there are important features the features of this spontaneous emission is that the process of spontaneous emission cannot be controlled from outside it it is essentially probabilistic in nature in spontaneous emission the initial phase direction of propagation the plane of polarization is different for different photons the light spreads in all direction around the source the light intensity decreases with distance from the source and the next future of this spontaneous emission the light is coherent net intensity of radiating atoms in spontaneous emission is nothing but i total equal to n i where i is the intensity of light emitted by one atom and n is the number of atoms and the last important features of the spontaneous emission is that the light is not monochromatic we know that the chromatic and monochromatic means monochromatic means single wavelength that is a single frequency is this one but in this uh, laser the light is not monochromatic thank you